This video is brought to you by our trusted partner, Intel. For a limited time only, with the purchase of any unlocked Core i5 or Core i7 Intel CPU, get a free Intel beanie with a chance to win an Intel snowboard. Valid for Canadian and US customers only, some restrictions apply. For complete details, visit intelgamingpromo.com. Are you still using an old membrane keyboard? Do you want a more satisfying typing and gaming experience? Look into a mechanical keyboard. We're gonna walk you through as fast as possible the various types of key switch types that are available on common mechanical keyboards. Not all mechanical switches have that distinct clicky noise to them. This is a Cherry MX Red switch, which has a linear press, a non-tactile feel, so you can't actually feel the actuation point, and it is a very light button press, so you don't have to press hard on the keyboard. Cherry MX Black switches are like a heavier version of Reds, so you can't quite feel the actuation point, but they do get slightly heavier as you press down and reach the bottom of the keystroke. Speaking of bottoming out, that's part of what makes typing on a membrane keyboard fatiguing. You have to go all the way down to activate it and have the letter you're typing appear on the screen. Browns are the first switch we're showing you. They're a little bit lighter than blues, where there is an activation bump. You can feel it. So all MX switches go four millimeters all the way down and two millimeters to the actuation point. But on a brown, you can really feel that spot. So that's where you get that tactile feedback in your fingers. So you know that you've activated the button and you don't actually have to press it all the way down. Cherry MX Blue switches are the ones that most people will think of when they think of mechanical keyboards because they have that distinctive clicky sound. They're a little bit heavier to press than browns and you can really feel the actuation point as well as hearing that satisfying mechanical click. As always guys, don't forget to subscribe to Tech Quickie. Don't forget to like the video and share it with anyone who you think might benefit from this information. If you have any ideas for future fast as possible episodes, leave them in the suggestion forum, which is linked in the description of the video.